Hi everyone, and welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week. This week, I had a suggestion to review uh, a certain item by uh, one of my viewers, and so I'm doing that today. But before I do that, I just want to show you a couple quick things. Do you guys remember this from a couple years ago? Uh, this was if you were part of the Barbie fan club, as it says here. Um, and it's an open little case of some sort. So I guess it's supposed to be for sunglasses. But I, I always found this kind of strange. So I wonder, does anybody use this? And if so, do you use it for sunglasses? To me, it almost seems more like uh, money, you know, put money in here. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Um, now, I wanted to show you guys something, and this is, I find this rather amusing. I was outside a week or two ago, you know, just going to get the mail, and I saw like a blue bag, it looked like, of just a piece of trash in the front of our, um, like the walkway up front. And I was just going to pick it up. I mean, it was mostly snow at the time, but this little blue thing stood out. So I went to pick it up to throw it out, and look what I actually found. This, I mean, I just thought that was so ironic that me, a doll collector, Barbie mostly, um, finds this in his front walkway. Um, and it's got all these snowflakes on it, so it was very appropriate for being in the snowy area. But I don't know what this is from. Obviously, some doll. So I'm just wondering if any of you guys know what this is from. There doesn't appear to be any buttons or clasps of any kind just kind of an open jacket and it's rather large it would fit on a Barbie but it's gonna be like really big especially this way uh, so anyway just curious if anybody knows anything about that and I found it like I said very ironic now let's get to the main thing today which was um, a review of the Barbie Country Camper now Barbie Country Camper was out in the 70s and I believe there was more than one version let's just say that um, I had one for years that's kind of buried right now literally and I can't get to it um, without moving a bunch of stuff but uh, recently at the fairgrounds flea market that we have here in Indianapolis uh, back in November I guess it would have been around Thanksgiving I found one in a box for $20 I believe it was and I bought a little bag of accessories for another $5. And I think I just briefly showed you guys this on a video. So now I want to actually um, show you more closely about this Barbie Country Camper. So as you see, here's the box that it was in. And the box is in very good shape, by the way. Very old um, version. This might have been the first one. Who knows? If anybody knows... Let me know, but this is dated 1970, Mattel, Hawthorne, California, made and printed in the USA, meaning the box, um, under International and Pan American Conventions, it says. So, I don't know if 1970 was the first time this was out, but wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the first, if not the first. Um, here's the side, just says that, and the back has a drawing on it and this information that you see about it and a closer look if you want of the dolls that are pictured now I don't I may have that Ken I have a Ken that looks a lot like him but I certainly don't have those two dolls that are with him Barbie and maybe that's PJ um, I'm not positive because I don't collect dolls from that far back I only go to Superstar like 76 77 and and on up so I don't collect those. Uh, now, when I opened the box, which, by the way, was just open, but, you know, clasped, I, the camper was in a plastic bag. So I thought, is this brand new at first? I mean, it looked so new, but it wasn't. I think somebody just put that in the plastic bag. So here's the actual country camper. Now, it is in pretty good shape, I will say that. I mean, it looks like it hasn't been played with a whole lot. Uh, let me go ahead and put that down for a minute. And it's in a lot better shape than the one I have. The wheels on the front are broken off, and they were just taped back on. So obviously that's not really great. Now, if we do open this, of course this opens like that. And I thought it opened further, but it's not doing that right now, and I'm not going to force it. 
So there's probably something here that's stopping it from opening the rest of the way because it is supposed to open further than that. Um, so I will look at that later. But also here in the back, and this is um, what I was used to with another camper that I had for something else, which is Big Jim. I had the Big Jim camper, and still do, by the way, down right down here. So then this opens up and folds out, and it's like a table. Um, there's a little sink in there, you see right there? And snacks and things. Um, so it's a, it's a cool little set. Uh, I used to love this camper. Actually, I used this, not this Barbie one, but the big gym one, I mean, with my Mego, Superman, Batman, and all those, because that was the only vehicle I believe I had at the time. Now, in the front, by the way, you can lift this up, and that's what they tell you. You can lift this up to put the dolls in. This also folds out for easier access, because I'll just use my little bowling Barbie and see if she fits in here. Um... So it's probably helpful if their legs are bent and hers are not right now. So anyway, she can fit in there, but she's going to have to go sideways. And there she is, ready for someone to take her on a drive in the camper. It does say Mattel. Um, these are wheels, by the way, that don't have decals on them or stickers. The stickers are not that many, but there's these back here. And they are kind of peeling. They weren't applied quite right, or they moved, one of the two. Um, let's see if I can move them. I could probably move them down myself. Yeah, they're actually doing that. But um, I may have to put some tape to hold them. But anyway, that helps a little bit. And the little license plate you stuck on there, I saw. Um, and I don't see a whole lot else, but on some of them there was more. Whoops, I bumped it. Okay, so let me show you for a minute. Also in the box was these instructions, or uh, this pamphlet of instructions. Barbie Country Camper. And by the way, on here it says 1971. So uh, this might have been a little later version of the camper, but the, the date on the box might have been the original date. So again, they're showing you that you can lift up the windshield to put the doll in. Uh, the side of the camper, and I'm going to show you that in a minute, slides. The other side that doesn't have that flap. And here's the one with the flap, and you see it should go all the way down. Right now mine is not. Um, and I already showed you the table in the back. It says fold out to fold out camp table, open lock, and fold it down to play position. A storage area for camp stools behind driver's seats. And on the back... Um, they tell you about, you know, you can use, um, to use roof storage rack, place ordinary rubber bands over, oh, okay, over hooks as shown. So I guess you could just use rubber bands. I wondered what you were supposed to use. Um, oh, it says, and then this is all about the label application. So there is one for refrigerator and cabinet. We'll see if that's in there. A rear cabinet label, um, front bumper, and the rear bumper and license plate that we saw. So... But that was nice that this is still in there too, and again, in very good condition. Now let's look at this side, where we've got this. The doors don't open. Let me see. Yeah, this is the part that should slide. It might be kind of... Here it goes. Okay, let me turn it so you guys can see it. So yeah, this slides open, and actually it slides off. I'm going to take it off for right now. Um... Here are the camp stools that you can see right here. So there's two of those. And they go right in this little part back here, behind the seats, as they said. Um, there's a sticker on here, by the way, that says one way. <laughs> and there's the stickers they were talking about right here for the uh, refrigerator and such next to the sink. This is in here, by the way, which is one of the sleeping bags. I just, I think this is just one. Oh, actually, there is two. Um, these, you know, there wasn't a lot to these. They're pieces of rubber that the dolls could indeed go inside, you know, to lay down, so to speak. But um, they're not that cushy, let's just say. <laughs> I don't think Martha Stewart would approve. But, uh, hey, they work for your playtime. 
And then, of course, you've got your steering wheel at the front, if I didn't mention that before. Ooh, -oh. this comes off. Let's just put that up. And let's take her out for right now. Okay. And she still has both shoes on, by the way. I gotta go get some little rubber bands that people are telling me about. Um, I guess at the dollar store. I don't know how small they could possibly be, but I want to look for them. And here's the steering wheel, like I said. It does not actually turn. So you're going to be going one way for a long time. But um, anyway, overall, I think this is a great set, or if you want to call it a set, or vehicle, uh, this camping thing. Now, I want to show you a few extra pieces, so let me set that down for a minute and not drop it. For all these years, I don't want to be the one to break it. So some other things, I've got some extra of the little seat um, thingies, stools. And actually, this one is loose, so let's just put it aside. There's a little campfire, and I don't think that actually came with this one. <sighs> Feathers, too. Um, this, I know, did come with the big gym set, so I think that's what that's from. But I'm not positive. Here's some pillow, or a pillow. So it's nice. That it's a cushy pillow. It has some cushioning in it. And I think I showed you guys this before, but it's some sort of windsurfer thing. And some more stools. There's about four stools in here, like this. The same kind of stools you saw in there. There's a pot that you can use over that campfire. I don't have the grate. There should be a grate. And I may have one in my other um, country camper that I've had for years. And I believe these somehow, I'm not sure what these go to. But there's these little things. So if anybody knows what they go to, let me know, please. By the way, the doll's feet could go in here, actually her ankles. So, okay, so that is everything in the little accessory bag that I bought separately. So let me put that back. And uh, like I said, overall, I think this was a great uh, vehicle. I think that uh, a lot of people like this, and for years this was on the market. It seemed like to me it was on, you know, four or five years. I could be wrong, but that's just what it seemed like. So I saw a lot of people over the years have these. And I think if you can get one, you should, because it's such a nice and vintage piece at this point. And so, thank you for watching today. Um, let me know if you have any other suggestions on things for videos. I appreciate those. And um, I'll be glad to consider that. Also, I want to do some more reviews in the near future. So, watch for that on some of the upcoming videos. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.